Thanks for joining me today. My name is Brendan, and if this is your first time checking out the channel, I wanted to welcome you. Every week I do a video series called Design Talks, where I talk all things product design. Once a month I'm going to cover a tool that I use in my design process. Today we're going to be looking at Milanote, which is a tool I often use early on in the design process. It's a great tool to get organized and stay creative, as you can see here on the website. But we're going to take a look at the website because there's a lot of great information here, and then we're going to dive into the tool. I'll show you how it works and hopefully you'll be able to use this in your design process. So let's take a look at the website. It's fairly straightforward. The tool you can see here, there's a menu over here and you drag over the elements. So for example, if you drag over say a line, you're gonna be able to just adjust it accordingly over here on the canvas. I'm gonna pull up this one because it's a little easier to see. So if you wanted to drag in a note, these are what are called columns which you can see here and you'll drag in a note and then begin to type this is a note if you want to add an image you'll upload the file add the image by dragging it over and we'll take a look at how that works but it's a great tool whether you work in a team environment or just work on your own so with that said they do a great job at covering different cases that you might be able to use this for so depending on your role, you might be a marketer, a writer, or a designer. The odds are you're probably a designer if you're on this channel, but they give you a lot of ideas for how you might be able to use it. And on top of that, they also give you templates so you have something to get started, which we're gonna take a look at here in a minute. So with that said, what I first wanted to do is jump over to the UX UI designers so you can get an idea of how you might be able to use the tool. And here you can see an example of a project plan. This is a template that they provide you with as well as different ways you could be using it you know whether you want to use it as a design brief or a mood board or user personas there are a ton of ways that you can use this tool but to take a look at some of the ways that you can be doing it you can check out the templates page there are so many templates here for you to be able to use not all of them are going to be relevant to you as a designer but let's take a look at a couple here so i've pulled up three different templates that you could use. The first one I have here is the competitor analysis. Here is a simple graph of competitors that you might be comparing and in these cards you might have specific information around the competitors. So there's, it's a great way to get a holistic view of the competitor landscape but then you can see more details by clicking into these boards. I really love this because it allows you to be organized without feeling like you're looking at too much information at one time. So with that said, let's take a look at a different one here. The mind map template, I really like it because it is sort of unique in that you have these lines that you're using. And then I really like the subtle color coding that they use here within the template. So really awesome. It allows you to also learn a little bit more information here. The last one I wanted to take a look at was the empathy map. Here you can see different ways that you can use the columns and arrows and get just different ideas for how you might design your project. So with that said, let's take a look at Milanote. I'm going to move myself over here and I've created my own Milanote board for building my personal portfolio. I haven't built my own portfolio website. I wanted to get ideas for how I might do so. With that said, let's take a look at my portfolio mood board. So here you can see my portfolio mood board. I have it organized with different pages, social media links that I wanna have, UI elements, resumes. Of course, you could have it however you want. And here are some portfolio examples that I really liked. So I had that organized, some case study layouts that I liked, and then some page features. I think it's important to have inspiration when you're designing a website or really doing anything design related. So I created this mood board. The next thing I wanted to show you guys was the hero section. I thought this is a really cool page. I wanted to actually show you how the tool works. The yellow highlight is from the tool that I used to record the video. So you're not going to actually see that, but it's fairly easy to use. And then if you zoom in, you could actually see they have these dots that way you can align everything and it's really an easy tool to use even if it's your first time taking a look at it the last page I wanted to show you guys was this additional features page I think it's really important to see how clean it all looks of course it matters how you align everything but I think that this is a really great tool to just copy you know a full page or just 
a part of a website and then put it all together and then you can have something to refer back to as you're designing your portfolio or whatever you're looking to build. So with that said, let's actually build something else. What we're doing right now in the channel is we're working on YouTube music. So let's do that and you can see here it actually customizes it and it actually did it quite perfectly. There's different uh, things that you could use. I actually really like the one they put. You could use the typical symbol and then it, as you can see it's fairly smart so it will you can search an icon and it will give you some suggestions and then it gave me the right color you can customize that color but I'm good with this one here and then if I click double click into it I can actually begin to work off of it so this is how easy it is to use drag in a new column name it whatever you want let's just call it mood board for the sake of this video and then we're gonna drag in a note and then literally it's just as simple as typing so this is my first note right so that is as easy as it works and then as you can see here the panel will change with the different things that you're using and dragging and dropping so if you wanted to have uh, say a strike through or add some code or a quote you're able to do so heading bolding fairly simple tool to use the next thing I wanted to do is show you how to upload a file. I'm going to upload my company's logo so you can get an idea of how it looks and then it's just as simple as dragging it where you want it to be. So that's the tool at large. There's other things that you could be doing such as using lines and it's really just a matter of playing around with it and getting it to look the way you want it to. You can do all sorts of crazy things which is really cool. And then at the end, you can export in a PDF or a PNG, which is something that I would recommend, given that you only, with your free plan, get 100 items that you can use. So if you export that, then you can delete it, and then basically you can have more room to be able to do other things. So with that said, I wanted to hop back over to the website for a second and go over the plans as I just kind of touched over the free plan. Now because I touched on the free plan, I wanted to share the differences between a paid and free plan. So the free plan you'll get 100 notes, images, or links and you can upload 10 files. So for an example, if you wanted to upload a video, that would be considered a file. The other thing is if you want to have a paid plan, you can have basically unlimited everything and it's fairly affordable. I think this tool is great because it allows you to use it in a free capacity and then if you outgrow that account you can upgrade and it's fairly cheap. So this is everything I wanted to cover in the video. If you have any specific questions around Milanote, you can reach me in the Slack channel and I'll be happy to give you a personalized tutorial or answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much for joining the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. I wanted to share one last detail. I'm going to be changing my videos to from three videos a week to two videos a week and I'm going to be doing the design sprints in one video rather than doing them in two and the reason that I'm going to be doing this is because I want to combine my workflow and the brief all in one. I think the brief for the most part is going to be covered within the Trello board so I figure I'm going to be doing those on Fridays and then we're going to be doing these design talks on Wednesdays. I'll see you guys on Friday and thank you again for watching.